Okay, so we're doing the fuel pump now. We're gonna pretend we just got this back from the machine shop and uh, I'm gonna go over what you need to know about this part. Oh, let's go ahead and put the freaking uh, rod back in. And in case you're missing yours, this is the fuel pump rod or mechanical rod, whatever the hell it is. In case you're missing yours or you have a mixed up, it's five and three quarters exactly, and it's half inch diameter exactly. In case you're trying to find which one is for your big block. But I'm only putting this grease to get this stuck in there because we're gonna have to put this plug back on before we can put the freaking fuel pump in. So kind of work that in there. I put too much, but eh. God dang it, I was trying not to touch this shit. We're just trying to get that rod stuck in there to... Oh yeah, that did it. Oh, now we got a mess. God dang it. All right, I'm just mocking all this stuff up for right now just to make sure this, all this stuff is gonna fit on my car. Cause I've never built a car like this, but you're gonna have to put that rod in there with that grease first because you're gonna have to put this plug back on before you can put the fuel pump. Put some non-hardening Permatex when you run that back in so it doesn't leak oil. This is a freaking uh, fuel pump bolt to begin with. It's the only one on the whole engine that looks like this. It's a 3 8 coarse thread with a 7 16 head on it. And uh, this fuel pump right here, whenever you look up 70 Chevelle with a big block, it's going to have two of these. One is, a, I, I just think the difference, it does not have a return on it. But this is called the Rochester in the catalog, and they're both identical. I mean, they both flow at 30 uh, gallons per hour and have seven psi. So they're just I've seen this one on a real super sport. So I'm gonna put this. I, I wanted to put this on there to make it look right. Uh, it came with two gaskets that both had 5/16 holes, so I can't use that. So. This is the part number at O'Reilly. It was like, it was cheap, I don't know, it was under $20. So I'm using my Felpro gasket that came with uh, my gasket kit. You, you don't have to put any kind of silicone or anything, but you can if you, if you want to. Make sure that rod is, is uh, up in there because you got to clear this make sure that rod did not fall down that's why we put the grease on it I always uh, bring these back like that get the rod get this started all right I'm just snugging up for the video